you guys, it's Shiret and welcome back to my channel. So, I just got done getting ready. As you can tell, my hair is all wet. I just got out of the shower. So, today I'm going to be vlogging for you guys. So, I have a few things I need to get done. I need to, let's see, make more of these knotted um, hats. So, this one is actually my daughter's. I made it for her. But I made two of them to like sell one too. And yeah, so I'm gonna be making more of those. I'm gonna be making more bows, different colors, and things like that, running my business as a 32 week pregnant. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm 20, I mean, I'm 32 weeks pregnant. I'm literally in eight months. So I'm basically eight months pregnant now which is so crazy i could see like the pregnancy in my face obviously don't mind the toys over here but obviously i could see it in my belly it's literally so huge and my feet are starting to get a little bit swollen which is crazy they're not like crazy swollen like i'm still able to walk and it's not like hurting me or anything my feet definitely have got bigger from the be the beginning of my pregnancy um i checked my weight and i am i believe 30 pounds above where i first was when i first found out i was pregnant like my pre-pregnancy weight oh my god vlogging <laughs> vlogging 32 weeks pregnant i am so out of breath uh i can't get my words out i can't think straight but anyways, we're gonna try to get this video out there for you guys. Um, and to all my new subscribers, I have lots of new subscribers from like my baby shower, my baby shower haul and everything like that. Those were very popular videos. So hello to all my new subscribers and thank you guys so much for 900 subscribers. I'm so excited for my journey and everything like that. So I'm trying to post more consistently for you guys and get better quality videos out there. So today we are going to, I believe I'm gonna cut some fabric and I'm thinking, my mom got these pumpkins and she hasn't like cut them open and we really like to roast the seeds. So I'm thinking about, I'm so out of breath. I'm thinking about cutting the stuff like two pumpkins open and probably getting the seeds out and roasting some seeds so i'll get that on video for you guys if i decide to do that um also i want to show you guys a few new things so for christmas i am doing christmas ornaments so this is a ceramic christmas ornament Let's see what focuses so these are on my etsy shop right now if you guys want to order those i also have them um, in these giant um, ball ornaments. So this one comes in a set. So you get the baby's first Christmas and then you get three like little bulbs. So this one has reindeers on it. This one says Noel. And this one has reindeer antlers on it and they're filled with like these little pearl balls that I had. So yeah, I have a few. Oh, I also wanna show you guys. Okay, so I'm going to actually cut fabric in the living room because I brought Chico here with me. If you guys are new here, Chico is my puppy. And, well, he's not really a puppy anymore. He is almost two years old, so I have to keep an eye on him in that room, otherwise he might pee in there. So, uh, I usually don't bring him over to my mom's because now she has two cats and Chico hates cats. So we do have a gate where it separates them, but sometimes it's just hard to bring him. But today I brought him. Um, oh yeah. I almost forgot what I wanted to show you guys. So these are not currently on my Etsy shop, but I think I'm going to add them. So once I get like the hang of everything, so I'm making pacifier clips. So we have this blue one. I made like a few different ones just to see like what I like. This one has, if you guys don't know, my baby girl's name is Stella. If you guys didn't watch my baby shower, I announced her name on there. So her name is Stella. So I made her her own like pacifier clip with her name on it. Is it backwards? 
I think it's backwards that way. I think it's supposed to be this way. I'll definitely be posting like better pictures of these on my Instagram and on my Etsy shop. When you shop, they will also have better lighting. I have this like multicolored one. And then I also have this one that says baby on it. So I still have to cut the string on the bottom and burn it. So these little strings will not be there. But um, yeah, I'm so excited for those. Those pacifier clips are just so cute and you could get them personalized with your baby's name on it. And they'll be very like inexpensive for you guys to shop. So if you guys wanna check that out on my Etsy shop. If it's not on my Etsy shop when this video goes up, Keep updated on my Instagram, which is always linked in the description box below if you guys want to check that out. I always update on my Instagram so you guys can see everything that's available. Yeah, so everything will be in my Instagram or on my Etsy shop. So all of that is linked always in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of things coming. Hair bows, clips. I've been like upping my clip because um, I don't know if you guys saw, I did a pop-up shop um, and I sold a lot, of, like a lot of bows, a lot of the clip bows were being sold so I had to up my inventory. We have some of these Christmas ones which is, they are new, we have purple which is so cute. The material on that is just so good. We have like this striped color. We have some more peaches. Cheetah, my absolute favorite. I love me some cheetah. We have like this brick color. Um, we have one more pumpkin one. I'm not gonna remake any of those. Those are gonna be the last, this is the last one. Um, we have some striped. We have white cheetah. And yeah, lots of other colors. So those are the clip bows. Um, yeah, I've been restocking those so I could get them out for you guys because I was running really low after that pop-up. A lot of my clip bows sold and a lot of the wrap bow headbands sold. So I'm trying, trying to up my inventory. So if you guys have like looked at my shop before, um, I have a newborn option and I have a one size option. So I found out the newborn option fits newborn to about three months. You could tie and untie like, for instance, if you get the newborn in the wrap bow headband, it should fit to about newborn to three months, just depending on how small your baby is, how big your baby's head is and things like that. But you could untie these and retie them. And I have a video on my Instagram so you guys can like see how to do it. It's very, very easy. I promise you, you'll be able to do it at home. But yeah, so the newborn option fits newborn to three months. And then I would say the one size could fit roughly, let's do four months to roughly eight months. So I keep those in like the smaller option because I do have the clip bows for older girls. Um, and I just think, in my opinion, I think the clip bows suit an older girl better more than like these bow headbands unless you really like them then I don't know if I will add them I don't know we'll see if, if a lot of people request it maybe I will but in my opinion I just like these ones for like more of like the baby ear stage and then the clip bows more for like older stage so um yeah so the biggest is four months to eight months will be the one size and so okay so for the knot bow head, I mean the knot bow head, the knotted hats, these, oh, they're my absolute favorite. I'm so freaking obsessed with them. They look so cute on babies. But I do have, I used to just have the newborn option which will fit about newborn to about three months just like the, the wrap headbands but these ones don't, you can't untie or anything but the fabric that I use is very, very stretchy so Newborn to about three months-ish, depending on your baby's head. And then I do have the size reference always in the description box, like uh, when you buy like one of these. 
So make sure you, you can measure your baby's head and make sure everything will fit, but they do stretch, so give it like some room. Um, yeah, so I do have the newborn option and I'm making a bigger option for the one size. So the one size, again, will fit the four months to about eight months, depending on your baby's size of head. But yes, I'm so excited, so let's see the... A lot of people, so these are like the difference you can kind of see. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is a little bigger to fit like a little bit bigger babies. <laughs> that makes sense. So um, at my pop-up, I was getting a lot of requests for older girls for these knotted headbands, um, or these knotted hats. Um, in my opinion, I don't like the hats on two older of girls. Well, like I don't wanna like make them to, for two older girls, but like I wanna keep it in kind of like the same as the wrap bow headbands. So we have the newborn, which will fit newborn to three months, and this one will fit four months to about eight months. So depending on the size of your baby's head, it might fit them when they're older, it might fit them when they're younger. Just depending, read the description of how big they are and everything like that and you will be safe. But yes, I'm super, super excited about that to have like different sizes for you guys because I know you guys want different sizes but it is hard when I'm just starting out and I'm using all my fabric on bigger sizes and those bigger sizes don't sell. But since you guys have been requesting it, I did a little bit of a bigger size for the a little bit older babies and babies probably with like bigger heads. Um, not to be like rude or anything, I think my baby's gonna have a big head because my boyfriend has a big head, so I'm super nervous about that, but we'll see what happens. I've been making her knotted headbands and like the wrap bows and everything like that for her when she comes. She's due January 5th, and I'm hoping she comes a little bit early, like at 38 weeks. So like probably around like December, like end of December, like December 29th or something. I don't know, I kind of want to just have her out already. Like, I'm so excited to see her, see what she looks like. And I am so tired of being pregnant at night. During the day, like, I'm fine being pregnant. Like, I'm so happy, I'm like, eating fine, I feel fine, I feel great. But at nighttime, like, getting comfortable at night is literally my biggest struggle in this pregnancy. But everything has been going really well. So I'm super grateful about that. I'm super grateful to be pregnant. And I'm just so out of breath, I don't know what to do. So, oh yeah, I also need to clean out um, this closet. I have a little hall closet right here that I have for baby girl. And I'm going to put some diapers because we got a lot of diapers from my baby shower. And we don't have very much room at my boyfriend's house, which is where we live at. Um, yeah, so we still live like with his mom and room is very limited. So I'm going to bring the diapers over here and then when we just need them, I'm gonna just bring them back over to my boyfriend's house because we do have lots of boxes and I need to figure out where to put them, especially because my boyfriend's brother is having twins and they're gonna be at the house too. So things are gonna get very crowded and very limited in space. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with like my stuff just so I don't know, it doesn't get in the way. I always feel like my stuff gets in the way, but I don't want it to be in the way. Um, I always try to keep my stuff very clean and so it doesn't like bother anyone. So I just like to, I don't know, keep my stuff clean basically. So we're taking the diapers and bringing them over to my mom's. She has more room here for like the diapers and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, okay, so let me stop talking and let's just get straight into this video. Um, it's definitely gonna be vlog style, so yeah. You guys are gonna see me make some knotted headbands though. I'm so excited for you guys to see me because I don't think I ever like showed it. Like I'm not gonna specifically show you guys how to do it. It's gonna be fast motion, but that's gonna be fun like seeing me. Well, maybe because I need to actually cut the fabric first. I prefer to cut all my fabric first and then like start sewing. So the knotted um, hats, they're hand sewn. So it does take me a little bit longer to assemble rather than the like bow wraps and the clip bows and the nylon headband bows. 
Those are all sewn with my machine. So that process is a little bit faster, but it does take me some time to do multiple. Like I still have all, I still have a lot of bows red, I mean, that need to be assembled over here. So yes, enough chit chat because I know you guys are probably tired of me chat talking, but yeah, let's go into this video. Okay, so this is like a literal full process. So I just cut all this fabric. I'll show you guys. And now I need to hand sew it. So those are for, close this cabinet. Those are for the knotted hats. And yeah, so I'm almost basically, I mean, I'm not almost done with them. I just cut the fabric. So now I just have to assemble everything and that's the fun part, I guess. <laughs> Gio, we just, I just took you outside. So yes, let's get to sewing because I want to get all these done so I could take pictures of like the new ones, get them uploaded and then I'm restocking like old, um, like restocking some of them that sold out during the pop-up so yeah I need to buy some more fabric because I'm running low so let me see there's two of each that I made so I have two sizes I have a newborn size and a one size so we have two four six eight ten twelve knotted bow headband or knotted he hats Goodness, I keep calling them headbands, but. So I have 12 knotted hats to make. I'm gonna try to make them all today. It is right now 325, so I'm gonna see how long it takes me or if how many I could get through. So let's just get right to it because this takes a while. <laughs> So I made three hats and three little buns right now. I have a couple more in the other room. I need to put on the the buns onto the little hats. Obviously this is the white one, but um, yeah, I'm done for right now. I did a lot today and let me see how many I did all today. Let's go. They're in, they're in my office area. Okay, yeah. So I did three earlier today. So we have six hats in total. Let me like set them out so you guys can see them. Okay, so this is what I did today. I did two tan ones with the bun. We have a like fall leafy type one. We have a white one and then we have two cheetah. And tomorrow I'm going to assemble like the, the bun on the hat. So they end up looking super cute and they'll be done tomorrow Let me... yeah so I'll I will finish those tomorrow and then I will also sew more of the hats tomorrow as well and um, 
I have new fabric and everything to cut up after I assemble all of this stuff that I just cut. So I have bows I need to cut or bows I need to actually sew with my machine. And then I have some of the clip bows that need to be sealed closed because they're open on the ends. I just need to sew it on the ends and those will be ready. I have a lot of those actually. <laughs> And I show you guys. Ooh. So I have literally this whole stack to assemble for the clip bows. I like to go break from those because those are very tedious and very small items. So I'm gonna put those right there because those are sewing. Um and yeah, that's basically it for the bows. Um so now let's just I don't know. We'll see what else I do today. I'm getting a little tired, but it's, I think it's about like four o'clock, around four and I'm already tired. <laughs> but I haven't had a nap today and I usually do take a nap. This pregnancy has me taking all these naps, but it's okay, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> um, I don't know, I kind of wanted to cut pumpkins but I'm kind of too tired to do that I need to figure out what me and my boyfriend are gonna eat for dinner I have no idea what to make so we're trying not to eat out as much but it's just hard yesterday we cooked like a big dinner and I'm too tired to cook today I don't really want to do a big thing so I don't know let's see what tonight brings and I will bring you guys along. <laughs> 